Hey, it's John Siskovich. I want to show you how to make a do-it-yourself DIY counterweight for the back of your tractor so that you can lift heavy things up with the front. So, quick backstory. Uh, have my John Deere tractor and needed to lift up something heavy and then the back wheels started to lift off of the ground. So I started to research counterweights. You know, don't always use the bush hog as a counterweight. Sometimes you want a dedicated counterweight for a little extra heaviness. So there's a, they, they sell counterweights and they're really expensive and you really, you just buy a box and then you buy weights to go inside of it. And I didn't like that because it would cost more money and I like the, the other solutions. So what I did was take a steel 55 gallon drum and cut holes in it to put these pins in it. And what this pin is, is it's just one of these draw bars you can get for I think 20 to 40 bucks depending on which store you go to and this fits in between your sway arms on the back of your tractor so that you can raise and lower it and uh, it's got places for pins so I cut the holes in the steel drum slid that draw bar through welded some reinforcements on top and bottom and then filled the barrel with stones and then we were doing some construction on farm and we had some extra uh, cement so on top of the stones we filled it in with cement and put a piece of rebar on top uh, to act as a ring so that if I don't want to hook it up to the back of the tractor I can take a chain through this hook pick it up and move it anywhere else I want to on farm uh, very inexpensive the drum when I originally bought it it was re you know repurposed was 30 bucks and then maybe another 30 bucks for the draw bar um, the pins in it are super cheap the rebar i had was free and the rocks it's just rocks it's weight so you're just using a steel drum with a draw bar reinforced with cement and that is my counterweight one final tip i found that the barrel based on where i put that draw bar uh, would sway a little bit back and forth so i just added a simple chain to the top of it and i connect the chain to that top point uh, for the three point hitch and for connecting the chain because it loops through I spray painted one of the links red and that's the link I use all the time so that when I go to clip on my little carabiner I know that that's the chain link that I clip onto and I don't have to guess. It saves me a couple seconds every time I do it. The time adds up and it's more time I can spend with my little daughter Mabel. Sometimes the answer is just buy the new one. Sometimes the answer is to make it yourself. If you have any good DIY fixes that you've done on farm, I want to hear your stories. Leave them in the comment section below. We'll keep the conversation going. I don't always have the answers, but I definitely have a lot of opinions. Thanks for stopping in. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video if it was a little bit helpful. If you look forward to farming in the future, leave me any questions in the comment section. Now that you have all your homework, thanks for stopping in. And until next time, I will see you out in the field. Yeah, you're going crazy!